Hey everyone, it's James here from the Dev Genie Academy and welcome back to the Java 3D game engine tutorial and in this particular episode we're going to be looking at point lights so without further ado, let's begin so first of all, in our lighting package, let's create a new class and let's call this point lights so in our point light class, we need to make a private vector 3f of color and position let's just make sure we import that vector 3f, there we go we can also make a private float of intensity constant, linear and exponent okay, no. then we can create a constructor with all the variables but we can also create another constructor uh, point light, there we go with a vector 3f of color a vector 3f of position and a float of intensity. So all we need to do now is just call this color, position, intensity and 100. Zero, zero. Now that we have those two constructors done we can just simply do the getters and setters for all of the variables there and we can then close that point light function down. So now into the shader management class we need to do our set uniform and our create uniform as well. So first of all, let's create the create point light uniform. And again, of course, we pass in the string of uniform name, just as we've always done, and through the exception again, as we always have done. So we can create the uniform of the uniform name plus dot color. And we can copy that a few more times. There we go. So dot color, dot position, dot intensity dot constant constant there we are linear linear and exponent there we go so now we've got the create uniform done we just need to do the set uniform so again as we've done a few times now already we can do a public void set uniform with the string uniform name and we can then do a point light of point light there we go, and we can do set uniform of uniform name plus dot color, point light dot get color. We do one for position, one for intensity, constant, linear, and exponent. So that's dot color dot position, and then do point light dot get position dot intensity, point light dot get intensity, constant, point light dot get constant, linear and get linear and again just make sure that you are me naming these string parts of the uniform name exactly the same throughout the code because you do get errors within the GLSL shader code if you don't you get them wrong so there we go that's the set uniform done so we can close the shader manager and we can now go into our render management class so first of all let's create a shader dot create point light uniform again pass in the point light as the string name and in the render method we need to also add the point light as a parameter there we go and we can do shader dot set uniform of point light as the string name and pass in point light as the parameter there we go and now into our test game let's go all the way back to the top let's create a private point light point light, there we go, point light and in our init method we can reuse these light intensity position and color so let's first of all make the light intensity 1.0f let's create a vector 3f of light position I know I've already duplicated this but we'll remove the instance below so it's a new vector 3f of 0, 0 0.0 and negative 3.2f we can also create a duplicate of the light color, so that's vector 3f of light color. And we could have just copied this one because it's going to remain the same. It's a new vector of 1, 1, 1. And we can then say point light equals a new point light of light color, light position, light intensity, and 0, 0, 1. Okay, so let's remove the vector 3f from the position and the color and reuse those variables for the directional light. So moving down to the render method, 
we can just add the point light straight into the render function there we go and into the fragment shader we can create a new structure of point light there we go and we need a vector 3 of color so that's vector 3 color a vector 3 of position a float intensity a float of constant float of linear and finally a float of exponent in our uniforms we can create a uniform of point light point light there we go and we need to make a new function and we'll do it after the light color so that's going to be a vec4 of calc point light and that takes in a point light of light a vector 3 of position and a vector 3 of normal first of all if we create a vector 3 of light direction or light dir this needs to equal light dot position negative position and create another vector 3 of 2 light direction and this is normalized of light direction so it's normalized light direction there we go and we can create a final vector 4 of light color and this needs to call our function above of calc light color that takes in light dot color light dot intensity it takes in position to light direction and normal so now we've got the calc of the light color we need to now apply the attenuation to the point light so here we go attenuation we can create a function or a float called float distance and this equals length of the light direction we can create another float of attenuation inv and this is equal to the light dot constant plus the light dot linear multiplied by the distance there we go plus the light dot exponent multiplied by the distance and multiplied by the distance again and then we can just simply return light color and that needs to be divided by the attenuation inv and back in our main function we can now use the diffuse specular comp plus equals calc spotlight and we can pass in the point light the frag pos and also the frag normal okay so just before we go ahead and run the test for this in the input method of test game we can check to see if window dot is key pressed of glfw key o if that key is pressed we can say point light dot get position dot x and we can increase that by 0 0.1 f we can just copy that through as well and we can check to see if the key p has been pressed if it has we can decrease it by 0 0.1 f so now if we go ahead and launch that now we can see that the point light is indeed there and pressing the OMP key will move the point light's x position so that's it for this episode thanks very much for watching and i'll see you next week thank you